Divorces, breakups, bothering a child with another woman, infertility struggles, incredible support and perseverance. Surely it hasn't always been smooth sailing for Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade, but the couple worked through all the obstacles and came out stronger than ever. In today's video, we're taking a closer look at their solid union. It Let's was... not do that. Let's not tell that story. You, you about to make something up. Now, I'm not make, did, did I make it up? Cause we didn't meet. We met. Did we speak? No, we didn't really meet. She said well, the first time we met. Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade crossed paths for the first time in 2007. Both hired by promoters to host a Super Bowl party. The pair met professionally while Dwayne was still married to his ex, Siobhan Wade, whom he filed for divorce from four months later. Gabrielle, on the other hand, had just divorced her ex, Chris Howard, a year earlier. Uh, was it was it love at first sight? No. For you two? No. Really? No, I had a boyfriend when I met him. And, you know, Dwayne, he's a bit younger than me. Mm. So it felt like he was 12. He was, like, super shy and quiet. Around the same time, rumors began to heat up that the NBA star was secretly dating the actress. And they didn't even talk at the event. I stayed on one side of the room with my people, Gabrielle said. We like to party, and he doesn't drink at all. He was on the other side of the room holding Bible study. After dodging dating rumors for a few years, the Lovebirds took their relationship public by attending the 2010 Summer Groove charity event as a couple and posing for photos. It started off, he was one of my friends. And yeah. it was like, oh, he's a good friend. And then it was, you're my best friend. Yeah. I don't want to be on this planet without you. Yeah. I don't want to do anything. However, behind the scenes, Wade faced a bitter custody and divorce battle with his ex-wife. Funches even named Union in a lawsuit, claiming the actress engaged in sexual foreplay with Dwayne in front of their children. Wade continually denied the accusations by his soon-to-be ex. She then started hitting them with multiple lawsuits. Siobhan sued Gabrielle for emotional distress, but the case was dismissed. My life is just too easy to track. So we were submitting plenty of proof for the time she said I was in Miami. So it was like, obviously you're not telling the truth. And then the courts dismissed the case, said Gabrielle at the time. A year after, Dwayne was awarded sole custody of his children, Zaire and Zaya, and his ex dropped the lawsuits. Dwayne and Gabrielle appeared on the cover of Essence together. However, at the time, neither of them had marriage in mind. We're not rushing it, Dwayne told the magazine. Both of us have been married before, and we understand that if we choose to marry again, we want it to be right. We both took failing at marriage hard. The next time, it's got to be forever. Throughout Dwayne's divorce proceedings, the lawsuits against Gabrielle, and the rumors that the actress broke up Dwayne and Funch's marriage, Gabrielle remained silent, opting to take the high road. In 2012, she finally opened up. I think people mistook me taking the high road as an admission of guilt. Dwayne and I made a decision very early to not react to the negativity. Sadly, in early 2013, when their work schedules became too overwhelming, the couple decided to separate. Looking back on this period, Gabrielle told Glamour that she couldn't take time off, and she missed some quality togetherness we desperately needed. What sold you on him? He's cute. He really is cute. He's very cute, and he's got a nice butt, and, <laughs> um, and he's a great dad. Moving forward, she decided that her work schedule has to make sense for their family. The lovebirds reconciled after a few months apart. Over the summer, Union reassessed her priorities. I'd always wanted an awesome career with back-to-back -back projects, but I realized I wasn't willing to sacrifice my relationship for it. However, the couple had yet to go through one of the most challenging times in their relationship. While on a break from the actress, Wade welcomed a son with another woman. In his 2020 ESPN documentary, D. Wade, Life Unexpected, he admitted that telling Union he was expecting a child with someone else was the hardest thing he's ever done. I couldn't sleep. I wasn't eating. The actress discussed the experience, which she said left her devastated. In her book, You Got Anything Stronger? I have not had words, and even after untold amounts of therapy, I am not sure I have them now, she wrote. She reflected on the pain she felt over her husband's ability to have a child with another woman, while she struggled over the decision of whether to try a drug that could increase her chances of carrying a child to 30% or surrogacy. According to Union, Wade had encouraged her not to attempt the drug, with the actor recalling how the former NBA star had told her, you've done enough. And as I always told her, 
I want this baby just as much as you do, but I married you and you are the most important thing to me. So it came to a point where, you know, I started to feel a certain way about that because I didn't want something to happen. However, rather than comfort her, her husband's words had instead sounded like an acknowledgement of failure. Because at that point, I would have sold my soul to get out of the endless cycle of loss. What was the going rate for souls? What was mine worth anyway? The experience of Duane having a baby so easily, while I was unable to, left my soul not just broken into pieces, but shattered into fine dust scattering in the wind, she wrote. There, it's, there's just so much shame and mystery um, and guilt that surrounds fertility issues, and that's why I wanted to include it in my book, because I'm tired of it. Union also recalled how her feelings about surrogacy were impacted by her feelings for her husband with the actor explaining that she felt she needed to let Dwayne go if she wasn't going to submit to a surrogacy. Even if he didn't want to, I had to let him find someone who could give him what he wanted, she wrote of her thoughts at the time. While Gabrielle ultimately decided to stay with Dwayne, both out of love, forgiveness, and fear of public humiliation, she admitted that she may not have made the same decision today. However, according to Union, she also recognizes the moment as a defining point in their relationship which she noted likely played an impact in shaping her into the person she is today. I had come to accept that without that awful collision in our lives, this big bang moment in our relationship that set our galaxy as we knew it, we wouldn't have become the individuals we wanted to be, she wrote. She chose to love him and forgive him after Wade worked to be forgiven each day. What we feel kind of holds in the, the test of times is, is friendship is growing and evolving together. You know, she, she brings me up, pulls me up when I'm not ready to grow, and I do the same for her. With the help of his kids, he then proposed to Gabrielle on December 21st, 2013. Together, the entire family held up signs that read, Will you marry us? I turned to D like, ugh, they just made some signs, and he's down on one knee, and he's like, will you marry us? And I was like, oh, you're serious. After an eight-month engagement, the couple said I do at Chateau Artisan in Miami, Florida. She previously said that the wedding would include no bridesmaids, no groomsmen. It's just us and the kids, and we're just riding out. Just us. The wedding hashtag was appropriately and perfectly hashtag the Wade Union. Right after the nuptials, the couple jetted off to the Maldives for an epic honeymoon. This is our second, both of our second marriages. And we didn't do it right, the first one. The first time around, we weren't collaborative, we weren't good partners, and we had to learn and humble ourselves and say, ooh, we really screwed the pooch on that one. Uh, there's another way. After the couple tied the knot, Gabrielle constantly dodged questions about her fertility. Finally, after four years of being hounded by the media, she revealed that they'd been struggling to conceive for years. Union first opened up about her fertility struggles in 2017's We're Going to Need More Wine. But the actress said all the nuance and pain she shared about her journey to motherhood was simplified to a brief excerpt. It seemed every article about me used the phrase I had offered. I have had eight or nine miscarriages, Union said. This was always followed closely by my age. Not only did the media fixate on her age, Union said doctors didn't fully investigate her unexplained infertility because she was an older woman in her 40s. She was diagnosed in 2016 with a pronounced case of adenomyosis that likely started in her 20s. There would be anger that I had sat in the offices of the world's leading IVF doctors and all they saw was my age, Union wrote. There was no investigation into any other causes for my miscarriages, and I was never correctly diagnosed or treated. According to the Mayo Clinic, adenomyosis occurs when the tissue that normally lines the uterus grows into the muscular wall of the uterus. Union said she felt clarity, relief, and grief to have answers. But an endocrinologist she was seeing told her, I don't know how anyone would have missed this. The couple welcomed their miracle daughter, Kavia, by surrogate in 2018. But Union said it took her over a year to make peace and accept the surrogacy route because she felt like a failure for not carrying her herself. Gabrielle later said that feeling has been replaced with gratitude and relief since Kavia's birth. The actor plans to be very open about the fact that Kavia was conceived via surrogacy as her daughter grows up. We want her to know everything it took to bring her into this world, usually around the time she starts talking back. We want her to understand what we went through. Gabrielle told Oprah during their special. 
Union also opened up about why it's important for her and Dwayne to love out loud when it comes to their family. Kavya matches the energy in the room. She has a very fun, loving side. She loves to run, she loves to play, and she loves to love the people that, she, that she's always around. In 2019, Dwayne's then 12-year-old daughter, Zaya, came out as transgender. Since then, Gabrielle and Dwayne have expressed their support for Zaya in many ways and opened up about how her journey has enlightened them as parents. We are, we are proud, when I say proud, we are proud parents um, of a child in the LGBTQ+. We didn't exactly understand why supporting Zaya's trans identity was a thing, because it's like, we love all our kids out loud, Gabrielle told BuzzFeed. But it is a thing, and a lot of people do need an example. They do need that representation of parenting. So yeah, we're gonna post our family, she said. We're going to live out loud, we're going to love out loud, and we're going to speak out loud and lead in however each situation calls for us to be leaders when things are not where they should be. People see Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade as the ultimate power couple. There is definitely much more to the story, but we have to give these two credit for fighting for their relationship during its most trying times. Now, the pair is happier and stronger than ever.